The world is veiled in darkness, the wind stops, the sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. Yes, this is Final Fantasy for the original Nintendo. Nintendo Entertainment System, for those of you who are picky. So, this is my first Let's Play. Changing the response rate to 8, otherwise combat will take forever. And I'm going to go with the default party. It's a fighter, a thief, a black belt, and a red mage. And I'm going to name them after my friends. The fighter is the MVP. Best fighter. Best, <laughs> well, yeah, best fighting character ever. Thief is going to be useless. I'm going to name it after me, because it's funny. I'm going to name the black belt after my friend Molly. Or Mo Molly? Molly? Yeah, the four character naming system is so sweet. I wish we restricted everyone to four character names in, like, real life. Willow. Yes, Bryant, Molly, and Willow. I have friends with weird names. Except for maybe Molly. She's kind of has a normal name. Uh, okay. So, three rapiers and a nunchaku. Now the cool thing about the black belt is he is, his unarmed attack gains in power the more he levels. Well, I suppose everyone kinda does because they get more strength and speed and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know what the stats in this game are. But the black belt has a special thing where it's almost as if they're equipping a weapon. Let's see, I think the fighter and the red mage can equip chain. Whereas the other classes are stuck with wooden armor. Yes, wooden armor. Maybe it's bamboo or something? Warriors, revive the power of the orbs. Now I better start talking to people now that I'm in, like... Conaria. I, th I thought this was Cornaria. Conaria, the dream city? I don't know if that's actually what it's called in this version. Well, the original version. Or if that was a typo or not. I wouldn't put it past either of them. Oh yeah, I should probably equip all my new toys. I like how a rapier is like the cheapest weapon. Like, those things probably took a lot of time to like forge and stuff. I don't know, that'd be something to look up. How much effort it took to forge a rapier compared to like any other kind of sword. Okay, what kind of magic should my red mage get? Fire, slept, lock, and lit. I do not remember what lock does. Doesn't really matter anyway. I think it stops the opponent from casting spells. Cure, harm, fog, and ruse. I think fog raises the evasion of an ally, while ruse raises the evasion of yourself by a lot. We'll go with cure for our first spell. Let's go out and fight a few battles. Why not, huh? Yeah, they said, don't put grinding in Let's Plays, but I'm not going to be grinding that long. I'm just going to fight a couple. Yeah, if I didn't set the response time to 8, these would be, like, ridiculous. Now, one thing about the default party is they all are pretty good fighters. I don't really know 
if this is meant to be the default party or not. They're just like the characters that are automatically selected for you. Like, I don't know if this was like what the programmers did. I don't know, like three people programmed this game. <laughs> well, that's probably not true at all, but... You know, legend has it that Squaresoft was about to go out of business. when they came out with this game and this was like their final game before they went out of business and so it was their final fantasy and obviously it was very successful and led to like 14 others uh, I think that's enough maybe well, we'll get everyone to level 2 Probably should have attacked that third imp. Yeah, this game is kind of... Your attacks are kind of funny in this game in that... If... You try to attack something that has already been killed in the previous round, as you see, then you just see the ineffective, so you have to be a lot smarter than your attacks. And I actually... Kind of like that, instead of automatically attacking the next person, because you're kind of coming up with a plan, like... Us two are going to attack that one enemy and if that if one of us is good enough to kill it then the other one's turn is wasted you know that actually kinda makes sense to me so they're looking for the light warriors and we happen to be the light warriors that guy has the exact same thing to say it's almost as if they planned it please save the princess yeah, the invisible guy. There's an invisible guy here who will change his dialogue later. Is he truly an invisible? Garland used to be a good knight in two. Or... What? <laughs> Did they just forget to put in the sprite? I'm guessing it's the latter. Blah, blah, blah. Just as in Lucan's prophecy, Garland has kidnapped the princess. Please, help her. So, you can kind of gather from this that Garland, who used to be like a knight of Corneria, or Conaria, Conair, Nicholas Cage. Sorry. Uh, used to be a good knight, and then suddenly he turned bad, made up with the princess, and went to the temple to the northeast. And that's the story. Um, or at least the story for the first part of the game. In sadness, the queen locked herself inside. Queen of Canaria. So it wasn't a typo. It is Canaria. Please save my daughter, Princess Sarah. I believe in my ADD, I never got to level 2. <sighs> Monster Strike first. Well, that cure spell is going to come in, in nifty. Do 
No, I won't. I'll try not to do that throughout the entire video. I make no promises, though. <sighs> Come on. Ah, this would see. Yeah, this is one of those games where it's going to take forever to level. Don't worry, later on in the game, when I have to grind, like actually do some serious grinding, I'll speed up time and play something f like funny for music. Till then you have to put up with me grinding. See, hits the fighter doing one point of damage. Get used to that because that's going to be a running theme. The fighter just plain doesn't die. Mad Pony. Two hits, two damage. Yeah. And this is supposed to be something that's sort of powerful compared to what I've been fighting. Yay, level up! Now, there's some nerds who are going to basically say like, why don't you save it before you level up and make sure you get the best gains? And I'm not going to do anything like that in my videos because that's, oh no, a little tedious. Guess I'm hardcore like that. We'll stay at the ends. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. Hold reset while you turn the power off. If you didn't do that for a lot of NES games that the beginning, you would seriously, like, just fuck up your save game. And I'm not even kidding. Make sure you blow it on a lot, too. I think I'll buy Slep with my, for my second spell. Alright, we are good to go. And the game saved my stay, stay at the end, so... If Garland murders us all, which he likely won't. We'll just restore from there. I'm going to stagger my attacks more. Yeah, my guy's going to do... Crit. Oh, my guys seem to be hitting more. Alright, let's actually position our character smart. So, this is going to change. Do I actually know what my armor is? Absorb 15, evade 39. So, that's pretty good. Absorb 4, <laughs> absorb 5, so. Does my red mage actually have better he does. Well. I kind of feel dirty putting the red mage in front, so I'm still not going to do that, even though it's <laughs> technically optimal right now. I'll put the red mage here, followed by the thief, and then the black belt. That's the optimal formation for now. It's going to change. Um... I don't remember if the black belt actually gets better armor as he levels up if he fights naked. That'll be something I can look up for. Maybe some kind people put it in the comments on the internets. But I think they do. I seem to remember a trick where you give them a ribbon and then they level up, and their armor replaces that of the ribbon. Let me try something right now, actually. No, not the set. See, I'm not used to this push start to open the menu instead of push X for like a 
later role-playing games. <laughs> the NES controller didn't have X, but... So let's unequip the wooden armor. Go to status. Absorb 2, evade 54. Absorb 4, 46. Okay, it's the same. So I don't know if that's just for headgear. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling at this point. We'll figure something out. So that's Scarlet, and here's the most famous quote of this game. No one touches my princess. Light warriors, you impertinent fools. I, Garland, will knock you all down. That is amazing. All right. <laughs> Used to be a knight. Does three damage to a red mage. You can't stand against the light warriors. Haha. -ha! And so basically, he's just having four guys just beat the absolute shit out of him. I mean, what is he been thinking? actually a pretty severe monster. I think they have like 50 hit points or something. <laughs> Couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. Jesus. I didn't know he could run into this thing so early. My fighter could just hit it. There we go. And get instant teleport back to the castle. Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered a bridge built to, to the continent. Go now, and make the orb shine again. So, how long have I been here? The loot has been passed down from queen to princess for 2,000 years. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please accept it as my gift. It might just come in handy. Well, okay then. I get a loot. Thank you for rescuing the princess. What does an Inviso boy have to say? We'll find that out when we get down here. Yes, sir! I belong to the honor guard of Castle Conaria. Conaria, whatever. So you are the Light Warriors? He probably doesn't hear much about us being invisible at all. So we got a bridge and a loot from that deal. And the bridge is not visible yet because we haven't moved up there. You know what? I'm not going to buy another spell. No, I'm not. Oh, buy probably heal. See, I'm playing this game on an emulator and I'm kind of using a Logitech controller. Like the bastardized play t station controller, so I keep putting pushing Y and X. All right, cap or trailer moment? No, we'll go for the cap. And by trailer moment, I mean something that would be in the trailer for a movie, which is what happens when you cross that bridge. Great imp. I used to read this as green imp when I was a kid but they clearly are blue and not green, so it must mean great. Uh, 
I'm getting some pretty good experience off these more powerful monsters. I might just level again. Um, sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, I know. Mind the gutter and all that. Huh. So my fighter is actually running low on hit points. I kind of stacked my attack on those because... I figured they would take more hits than that. Wow. Well, later on when my fighter actually gets better armor, he's going to be a lot better at this. the cap. I probably should have equipped the cap, but eh. Great wolf. Because again, they are clearly blue and not green. I guess they could be gray wolves, but they are clearly blue and not gray. So the only thing they could be is great wolves. See, that's one thing I guess I don't get is that, like, they clearly had the space oh crap well then um yeah I made a newbie mistake oh boy Willow is going down Jesus, they keep <laughs> like, oh, we're just going to aim for your weak little mage. Nothing you can do about it either. Actually makes sense. Willow's kind of a vampire goth girl in real life, so it makes sense for the wolves to like fucking target her and try to kill her. Um Yeah. <laughs> she can wear the cap for now. That's the nearly going to die cap shaped like a giant cone and yeah I put her in the back and put the about to die cap on her so I can see people watching this video saying like Oh, that was his last cure spell. He's not even paying attention. He's going to try to heal himself later and find out he's fucking out. What a fucking retard. <sighs> well, Molly, you're going back too. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> see, this is where having a thief comes in handy, because supposedly they run away better. Whew. 
in. Must get to the in. Alright then. Alright, we can change the order of the party. Back to what it was. We'll jump in the end. And we're good. None of you saw that, right? <laughs> I did not just nearly die like in the first area of the game. Alright, and here comes the trailer moment. And so, their journey begins. What awaits the four, they do not know. Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now, only darkness. Come, start your journey, and return the light of peace to our world. Programmed by Nasir. Character design, like the three people who program this game. The Square A Team. That's pretty cool. Well, that's the first chapter of my Let's Play. I think that's a great point to, to stop. I hope you all enjoyed it.